Hey everybody, in this topic we're going to create an email slicer program. I was going to create this program as an exercise at the end of our string indexing video, but I completely forgot. So I'm going to make a separate video on it. It's a fairly straightforward program. It won't take too many lines of code. All right, let's begin. We'll accept some user input. We will store this as a variable named email. Email equals input. We'll create a prompt. Enter your email. For my email example, let's say my email is bro123 at gmail.com. There is a built-in method of strings called the index function. This function index will return the first instance of a character. Let's find the index of our at symbol. We'll split the email by username and domain, but we need to know where to split it exactly at this at symbol. So we will find our index of that at symbol equals take our email our email is technically a string, so there is a built-in index method. We will find the index of our at symbol. This method will return a number. We will create two new variables, username as well as domain. Username equals our email. We will use the indexing operator, then place a colon. So where do we begin and end with the username? Well, with Python, we don't need to specify the beginning of a string. You could say zero, but we can omit that. But we do need an ending index, and that would be our index variable. With our domain, we can take the other half of our email. Email, index of operator. Where do we begin and end? Well, we will begin where we left off, index. Index by itself isn't going to work as you would think, and I'll demonstrate why. Then let's print using an F string. Your username is our placeholder username. And domain is our domain variable. OK, let's test this. And to your email, bro123 at gmail.com. Feel free to use your own email. Your username is bro123 and domain is at gmail.com. I would like to omit this at symbol at the beginning of my domain. What we'll do when we assign our domain variable is set the beginning index to index plus one. Then we will start after the at symbol. So bro123 at gmail.com. Yeah, here we go. Your username is bro123 and domain is gmail.com. If you would like to take less lines of code, here's how. Let's copy this index function, delete our index variable, replace index with that function. So let's test this with a new email. Bro blah 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 blah123456 at gmail.com. That's a very long username and domain is gmail.com. This style would work as well. However, it's less readable, but it does take less lines of code. So it's up to you how you'd like to write this. It's personal preference. But yeah, I thought that'd be a nice exercise now that we know how string indexing works. And like I said, I forgot to include this exercise at the end of that string indexing video. But a separate video on this topic wouldn't be bad either. But uh, yeah, everybody, that is a email slicing program in Python.